everybody, welcome back to another episode of Jade Falcon Freeborn. So, we got Griff still out for 21 days. We're going to be jumping systems here in a minute. Uh, but what we want to do, just before we do leave, is we want to pull up one more contract here on this planet. So let's go to contracts. And we're, I was thinking about taking fire for effect because of target acquisition. We do so well. No, no, maybe not. Interdiction is probably a good idea. Then we're going to go ambush and convoy and Martian terrain. Uh, hopefully this turns out well. Um... We are very, very close um, to bumping up our reputation with um, Clan Hell's Horses here, so we should be able to do that with this one mission. So we're going to take this one um, and negotiate, and yeah, we'll get seven rep out of this, I think, in total. Um, sorry, we get four, which is enough, I think. Um, but we're going to go full salvage on this, I think, and accept. And we'll deploy who we had before. And uh, let's get this done. Alright. Ah, uh, yes. Ah, uh, yes, I know this map. So there's a couple of the vehicles there. They are going to be moving up over to this direction here. Uh, right? Yes, and we just kind of have to bust their ass to get in there and stop them. So uh, let's go ahead and do that. Getting the swirlies. Ready for orders. Let's move. All right. I really hope the guards just aren't all vehicles, but if they are, I hope they've got good weapons that we can steal. And I think I can't go over this. Ridge, I gotta go this way. I had a look at the map before I started today, and it doesn't appear that Jade Falcon controls anything on the map right now, unfortunately. But uh, we'll have to keep up with Hell's Horses and probably Diamond Shark as well. Um, also, Smoke Jaguar, I think, we'll try and get some uh, rep with them. Well, if we can get eyes on, we can use the generator to hammer these guys. So let's get... Oh, we got sensors on. But no way to shoot. Two sleep nears, Ignis, fire truck. This is kind of a weird uh, map because they don't have very far to go. So the first like half of this is trying to sprint up and get eyes on the target to be able to shoot at people. If they had all hovercrafts that were fast, I mean, they could get away without too much of an issue. Okay, we got good shots here. Okay, something's damaged. So I think I want to try... Um, after we encountered... I think it was... Was it the gorilla that we encountered? That just showed up out of nowhere? I think it was the gorilla. Um... I think I want to try going all stealth with our guys. I want to get stealth armor for everybody and see how it works out. Uh, we could go with... I think I want to try and take out two units here, so let's get up on the ridge. I know it's putting us in the open here, but... See if we can shoot this guy up pretty bad. Oh yeah, he's almost done. And the missiles are going to be... Not a really good chance to hit. Even worse with uh, HE, but we're going to go this route. Wow, look at that piece fly. We have the frig over here. Primary target is taking damage. I'd like to see lower gravity environments too. Increase your jump distance for less heat, things like that. That's all vehicles. Yeah, screw you. I'm gonna stand up here anyway. Yes, Commander. All right. Um, we don't need to sprint. Let's just walk. Aye. Uh, do we go with? Oh, we don't have any. Uh, we do. Um, I think we wait a turn for the Artemis. We're gonna fire the rest though. Target. 
Okay. Man, I love how, how the, you can just cram so many missile systems into clan vehicles. I don't know, man. I don't know if we can have the speed for this. I mean, look how fast these guys are. Not the best. Let's go with the higher chances to hit and fire. Man, if we fail this mission against just vehicles, I'm gonna be so upset. They're so fast though. I mean, look how fast they're going. It's just not fair. It's not fair, I tell you. And it's not like I took really slow mechs either, right? These guys are pretty fast. Alright, we get a better chance to hit now. Okay, who hasn't moved here? These two guys. Ah, oh, look at the armor on them. <sighs> Only 50 on the back. Um... Both of these guys have gone, so let's shoot this guy up. See if we can kill kill him. Man, look at the the number of hits. She's just incredible. You're awesome, girl. <laughs> Thanks for coming out, buddy. Thanks for showing up. Okay, so blockade. Can we get on? Hmm. These guys haven't moved yet. Let's make sure we kill at least one. Um, I have no idea what this guy's got left. So let's fire both. Wow. Look at the friggin' parts fly. <laughs> See, that's the reason why I don't have the damage thing on the top. Because I love watching the animations of vehicles just getting completely... Mechs getting completely obliterated. And I find I stare at that all the time when it's up there. Just to see where I'm hitting. I would rather just uh, watch the game. It's just me. Christ, the vehicles are better than you guys. Uh huh. All right, let's see if we can't kill this guy up front. 11, 15% on this guy though. But this guy's the fastest guy. And we're gonna switch to all the Artemis ammo. And firing. Ah, uh, not really. I think we open him up a little bit though. I have no way to tell. up you guys Our target is within sensor range. really because I'm standing right on them <sighs> I should really add that shut up Darius mod um, we don't go again until phase 20 and these guys are gonna move Let's go this route. Okay. Oh, you're a killer! You're a killer! You're such a killer. Now I hope this guy doesn't get away. He's within range of getting out of here, I think. Alright, blockade. Let's get right on him. 99% chance to hit. Back's got 115. Turret's got 100. What do you think, guys? You just shoot for the turret? What if we do this? That's still pretty good chances to hit. 25% in the turret. 65 on the back. Back's 115. 
Well, if we get four hits on him. Five hits we need. Let's try it. Well, you're no Mockingbird. Maybe Duce... Oh, Duce's gonna get a shot at him. Yep, HE ammo, here we go. Firing everything. Oh my god! Okay. <laughs> I thought for a second there we didn't kill him. We got the we got the LRMs though, so. Well, I'd like to say we should just get out of here because it's not worth staying, but we need salvage, so. Let's just crack these guys in the head. This guy's got like no armor. Um, yeah, and we'll leave... Actually, let's leave off the fives. Uh, we, well, let's just fire two. Let's save a bit of heat. Oh, you got him. They got two left. Got eyes on? Oh yeah, man. They got two left. What do you think? So we should put fire and see if we can get both. Ignis has got uh, about a hundred and something in the front. Yeah, about 130 on the front. What about the fire truck? 40... Uh, let's see if we can't just kill the Ignis. Fire it all. Nah. It's got too much. That's fine. Huh. Can't get a direct line of sight in the Ignis, eh? Oh, there we go. That should do it, though. Yep. Wow, look at the pieces fly. Well, that's one less vehicle, Commander. God, I love this game. Copy that. I want to be able to shoot one this time. Well, we did pretty well for a Martian environment. We had two full turns of... My God, just hit him. We had two full turns of shooting before we started to have to turn off heat. So that's actually pretty good. Two turns of alpha. It'd be worse than a lunar environment, but how much we can do about that. Yeah, good luck with that. Light damage. Holding firm. Shogun, who do we not let people shoot? We do not let them shoot the Mockingbird. Right? So let's take care of the problem here. How much can we drop on this guy? Drop some lead on this mother. Beep. There we go. Ah, he didn't while well, one piece flew away. <laughs> and it's still going. Mission successful. Well, that was a one and a half skull mission. 83,000 we made, which should be more than enough for repairs. Uh, no real damage. I don't think we took a couple points here and there, probably. Okay. Pirate Flamer, oh boy. Wow, look at the garbage here. Heavy ah, machine gun arrays, narc launchers, serum sixes, engine cores, few cell these things are worth how much? 2.24 that's actually good for selling. So acid f for the fluid guns. It's a possibility. Oil for the fluid guns to impair movement. Half loads, ammo, LRM ammo. Tracer machine gun ammo, narc beacon ammo, which I think we've got a narc launcher. We just don't have any ammo for it. SRMs. Um, huh.
Plus one improved accuracy against the target. Easier to detect, easier to see. Um, I think so. We don't have any Narc ammo, right? Zero, yeah. Yeah, let's take that. I think that's probably the best way to go. These cores really aren't worth all that much. One million. So nine hundred and thirty thousand. These guys will be about two eighty or so. Um I think we have an arc launcher, right? No, we don't. Let's take the ammo anyway. Yeah, we'll take the ammo anyway. Let's confirm that. All right, four fluid guns, LRM five machine gun, heavy pirate machine gun. We got the we got the launcher. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Couple of well, one LRM, one SRM ammo. Okay, cool. Okay, now let's move systems. There's a couple places we can go. Um, have a quick look here in a second. I'm gonna sell those uh, parts that we just picked up. Um, just so we have the cash in the bank. I know what we're working with here. So the fuel cells, yeah, 292,000. So it's totally worth picking those guys up. Sell both of them. And I don't think we have any internal combustion engines or anything, anything else we can sell at this point there. So we'll just leave that for now. Uh, so let's go and have a look at the map here. So iron hold. 22 days away, but still clan wolf control. Not much we can really do about that. Uh, we can take some missions for uh, Diamond Shark or something. This is a two and a half skull world. This is a two and a half skull world. Um, neither of them are kind of near the front lines, so there's no, you know, real opportunity to fight clan wolf or anything. Uh, there's a few others like one and a half skull world here that's kind of near clan wolf. Um, I would rather tr start taking. Um, missions on higher skull planets because we do want to start assembling more mechs. So uh, let's do this. Companies, Pinballs Marauders, Bears Marauders, Gentlemen Bastards. That's who's there right now. Gentlemen Bastards, eh? Who's here? Agio Augusta, Jammers Marauders, Iron Dragoons, Red Star. Okay, a lot of Marauders. All right, let's move here. A lot of people are do over here right now, so let's head over to Di no, Diamond Shark World. Um, it's a nice skull level for us, so let's just do that. 24 days. Actually, let's back up a second here. I want to have a quick look at engineering. If there's anything we can do upgrade-wise. Uh, we're doing pretty well overall upgrades. Uh, plus two, it's a little much. I don't know what to expect when we get there. Structural reinforcement, 360,000. Um, there was something. That's 10 days plus one tech points. 15 days, but it's a little cheaper. Oh no, it's a little more expensive. These guys, we can't. Well, 900,000, but still. Um, I want to do structural repair right now. Let's, yeah, more tech points or structural repair. Let's go for the easy tech points, 180,000. Let's just hang on to our seat. Well, ah, we got the money. We've got the sea bills. More habitat pods means more other things down here. So let's take an, let's take the habitat pod and we'll purchase that. We had the sea bill, so we might as well do it. All right, so let's go. Um, star map. So as I was saying, I'm hoping for some good uh, missions over here. Thanks, man. All right, so when, by the time we get there, Griff should be back. Uh, what's this here? Hannibal's injury. Uh... Oh, they're in Virgil Brawl, eh? Ah, let's see. Let's see if he can deal with this. <laughs> uh, 
Oh well, at least he tried. <laughs> My second lance is fighting now. Great, isn't that just wonderful? They better, they better clear that shit up real quick. Thank you. All right, financial report coming up. So we got enough sea bills to last for another financial report. So we do want to take some salvage just to make sure we step around 2 million, I think. I want to have at least a couple, uh, enough in the bank for a couple of months of salvage in case we just get wrecked somewhere and we, we need time to repair our mechs. Um, the advantage of having that second lance, though, is we can just quickly jump to a lower skull planet and deal with stuff. Deal with our shortfalls. All right, so yeah, a whole lot, <laughs> whole lot of nothing here. Uh, let's have a look at the contracts real quick, and we'll just check the pilots out now. We'll come back here in a second. So let's check our pilots. Uh, blockade. Oh, we got chance for guts to go up. Overheat. So that's actually not a bad ch choice right now. I mean, we could go up and try and get. Um, uh, extra evasion, but I'm thinking the overheat right now is going to work better for him. Training confirmed, Commander. With those two large pulse lasers. Yeah. Um, El Duce. Let's save it. We've almost got enough for another round of gunnery, which I think we want to go with. Uh, Griff doesn't get anything. Hannibal, nothing. Mockingbird. Um, eh. I'm thinking I'm going to go Guts. I want to get that overheal, overheat threshold, injury resist, and stuff. So let's do that. Uh, and then these guys. Oh, Shogun's got enough for six. Let's just do that. I know I shouldn't be getting these right now. It just cost us cost the sea bills, but uh, I'll leave these two for now. Um, so let's look at our contracts. We're good this time. Looking for two two and a half skull missions. Okay, they're all that round two and a half three skulls. Nice. Okay, we've got. Well, we don't want to do anything for Wolf, so forward observers, Wolfian military units, battle in the desert, noisy neighbors, Wolfian forces, battle in the desert, raiding party, local pirates in the desert, deniable destruction, destroy base, uh, planetary government, believe, uh, planetary government. So let's, um, and we got coupe as well. Yeah, no thanks. Uh, the prisoner, three and a half. It's an escort mission, I don't know. Heavy lure, that's another one. That's pirate though. Um, let's start off with, um, let's go with forward observers. We'll just work our way down, I think. Let's go with forward observers today. Um, I know I wanted to go up this route, but this is local pirates. Um, and this is planetary government. I want to go against uh, clans because we want to try and get some more clan mechs. Uh, we just need one more piece of a grinner. Actually, before we drop, let's just do, have a quick look here in the bays. Uh, I want to see what parts we do have so if we find something, we can start targeting things. So in the medium category is really what we're looking for here. Um, Hunchback 2Cs, Hatchetman parts, uh, Raptor parts, um, Huntsman, Nova parts, we've got just the four, just the four. Uh, got a couple Stormcrow parts, Shadowhawk parts. So Raptor 2 parts, we've got six of. So we could put together a Raptor 2. Um, that's pretty much it. Uh, unless we come across a Nova, I want to see if we can get some parts for the Nova. That would be good. And, oops, sorry, I meant to go to heavy, because I don't think we really had that many heavy. Yeah, we don't got really that many heavy parts. But light parts, we do have a whole bunch. Not really looking for anything in particular from here. A white would be nice. Uh, Rainia, uh, but um, we've got uh, enough for a wolfhound here if we get one more part. So I think that's the one we're looking for out of this. Um, yeah, I mean the white would be nice just because we could pick up some, we could pick parts off it if it uh, comes back okay. Same as this one, get some nice components off of them. But um, yeah, let's just hope we can get something here. All right, let's do this. Let's negotiate full salvage. Accept. 
and let's move our people down here Duce Atticus Stormcrow Prime with our three medium pulses now or sorry three medium lasers and two medium pulses got a weapon mount on the arm for more accuracy so we're going to be looking for taking legs off mechs as much as we can now so let's deploy and get this done Okay, here we go. One enemy lance. Mm, probably reinforcements, but... Um, how do we want to deal with these guys? I think we do the same thing we did last time. Let's just push down the side here. Full Got plenty of places to hide back here if we get overwhelmed. Standing by. So I was just thinking as we were, as we were loading in to land here... Um, one interesting thing, because clan max can be um, changed and altered and you know updated really quickly based on what you want to put in them, um, I was just thinking that one thing that might be neat is before you accept missions and stuff, if they could show you what map you're playing on, because it would be nice to be able to just swap around, um, like for instance with El Duce here, if if I knew we were in a be open terrain, um, I may want to switch to like longer range weapons for these guys, or um, like or add missiles or something. If we're going to be in really hilly terrain, so I can fire it up at enemies over hills and stuff, um, and just making making a quick change like that would be kind of uh, cool. But can't have everything, I guess. Whoa, shit! There they are. Oh, they got me, and I'm hostile, and I'm inbound too. All right, we got. A white and a fire starter and urban mech. These guys are clan wolf, huh? Let's start this party off right. Let's see if we can take the leg on this guy. This or we could just sh shoot the whole upper body. That works too. I should have just shot him. Oh crap, they do it. Look at <laughs> A bear cub. There's our Grinner. Cougar, Huntsman. Well, lots of parts for stuff we want. Um, I think if we just shoot this guy, because that's all we can do. Firing. Good to go. Moving out. Okay, we're going to have to be crafty here, I think. Okay, let's hammer this guy. Yeah, man, destroy the engine that apparently doesn't ha do anything. Oh, what do we got? So it's eight guys. Bear Cup, okay. Got a chance for lots of mech parts here. Is it the Bear Cup? It's the Bear Cup. Rrrr. Rrrr. Bring it in for the hug. At least it's not a Care Bear. <laughs> if you watched the uh, last episode... <laughs> actually, I don't think it's actually been aired yet. Sorry, I won't say anything until... <laughs> I encountered a Care Bear with uh, Funky Steve's Medina's, and I'll just leave it at that. Uh, let's hammer this guy with like lots of stuff. Hmm, actually, is it better to hit this guy? Not really. It is better to hit this guy, though. How's this guy doing? We have no idea how this guy's doing. I know we penetrated to the internals, so let's fire on him anyway. <sighs> well. I don't like whites, and I want him gone. I know the fire starter's got a uh, gauss rifle. But we got lots of evasion, lots of uh, ECM and stuff. It's going to make it tough for these guys to do much other than punch us at close range. So it looks like they're positioning themselves for some good back strikes here. See, now did he just lose a lot of heat? Now these guys... I'm interested to know what their heat levels are when they first start. 
because I've encountered a couple of these guys that are just ex like shut down. They move and shut down. I don't know whether that's a bug or what that is. Okay, he's moving down. Urban mech. Okay, so medium pulse laser, most likely an AC-20 on there. He's a, we're out of range. You, you can hit with an AC-10 from up there. Could have an LBX too, I don't know. That white's still got to move now. I hate those guys. I really hate the whites. Wow. That's it, eh? He's unstable. Definitely capable of knocking him down. Um, how do we want to run this now? Stay out of the way of the guys over there. Ooh, really? That doesn't work out either way, does it? And this guy's trying to sneak around behind us, the little bastard. Um, good moves, guys. Good moves. Okay, let's get into here. Uh, I know we're jammed by the ECM, but we're also in the uh, mineral field too, so it's a little better. We're just going to fire... Hmm. You want to shoot this guy? Or this guy? We can probably knock out the fire. I'll leave the, um, the white to uh, Mockingbird, just because of her accuracy. And her positioning. So, let's move into here, and let's hammer this guy. We're just going to fire straight out. I'm not going to bother worrying about targeting that leg. Should get a few leg hits, probably, or not. Oh, yeah, we got one there. Nice. It's unstable now. So we should probably be able to knock him down. Um... Let's not get you out. We need movement though. Let's get back here. Really good chances on him. So if we push him, what are we looking at? Not very good. So we're just going to straight up attack him. And hopefully we can knock his ass down. Okay, one leg hit, two leg hits, three leg hits. Goodbye. Target eliminated. Well, I didn't really mean to do that, but of course I did. Okay, one threat gone. Um, fire starter is next. If he starts shooting with that Gauss rifle, it's going to be an issue, I think. You're going to miss. Nope. Can't look a gift horse in the mouth. Take this guy. That was a suicide. What that was. You guys, that that doesn't count as a kill. It shouldn't. You just basically committed suicide. I think that's the huntsman, right? Yeah. It's running hot now. Good thing we're in a hot environment. Ooh. That's another that's the fire starter. Do they think they can hurt me? Is that a fire starter? Here comes that grinner. He's trying to flank the little bastard. That's okay, we're gonna move over here and be pointing at him when he comes around the corner.
Okay. Minimal damage on that hit. Yeah, he just committed suicide. So the 2C is probably going to be go down last, most likely. Um, so we're pretty clear on this side. Let's get back. Um, mm, i got to worry about where these guys are moving to. I think we're going to be okay. Let's get back and finish this guy up. Want to see if you can take his leg here. I'm there. Probably end up killing him, but we're going to show you if we take the other leg here. Cord him. Hope we can salvage that. Yeah. We are getting a little better. A little, uh, just a little bit better. On my way. That being accurate, but uh, still working on it. Uh, what do you think? 0.9% chance to refire? <laughs> Save our heat. <laughs> I don't know. It was looking good. I should have gone for it. Yep. Let's get up here. Stay in the mineral field. Turn our side. That greener might come around the corner there. So the Huntsman, I think, is our next target. Bear Cub's annoying, but not important. Cougar's coming, and he's got the Gauss Rifle. Although we could rush this Grinner. Try and pull him down. Commander? But... going to put me in uh, hunchback range. Rolling. Let's target this cougar. He's got the gauze rifle. Let's see if we can eliminate him from range. They don't have a lot of armor. So one thing I know about starting with that that cougar is they just didn't have a whole lot of armor. That's the whole reason why I switched it out. Get into here. Can only target this guy, so we will. I was also thinking too, it might be neat to, uh, if you've got missile launchers, like maybe it's just the LRMs or um, the arrow systems or something, or the thunderbolts, but you should be able to target a hex with it. You could just say, you know, you, you click on the weapon, you click on the guy, you click on the weapon and just say um, indirect fire and then you just choose a hex that you want to target. So if you saw somebody and then he disappeared, you could still target that hex with a really small chance of hitting, but at least it would give you the opportunity to still fire, which I think is, is still, it's kind of valid. Like if you see a target and he disappears off your screen, you can still fire at that hex to see if you can hit him. Let's see if we can take this guy down here. Um... Out of the range for those, eh? Okay, we'll fire the rest. Alright, we gotta start it anyway. Okay. 
comes to greenery. Still got a while to go to get here. Oh, maybe I'm wrong. We're on him next. Ooh, head hit. Yikes. We're all coming after you, buddy. Just so you know. Just so you know. Okay, unstable, adding heat. Not hitting. Overheating. Congratulations. Oh, he's got an ultra something or other. Hope it's not an ultra 20. Right, people, let's go. Let's get right on this guy. Okay, he's overheating. Kind of makes me wish we had flamers, but I don't know. His clan, as a clan pilot, I don't know. There's just something about flamers that just feels wrong. For me, it's like, I don't know, they kind of have this honor system that you kind of want to partially uphold. So no melee, you know. Um, flamers just seem, I don't know, it just seems kind of like unchivalric. It's like, oh, you're overheating, now I'm going to overheat you more. It's like, no, let, let him manage his own heat, and if he fries himself, he fries himself. That's up to him, not you, right? So, gotcha. I really should say them, not him. It could be, you know, male, female, or other. Let's hammer this guy. Critical hit, Commander. Okay, how are we doing leg-wise here? Almost got it. All right, El Duce. We are coming for you. Um, I'm, I don't want to go with too much here. How much does the torsos have left? Fifty-two <sighs> percent. Let's go with this. Not enough for anything, huh? <sighs> Damn it! I didn't even hit the leg for Christ's sake. Torso's almost gone. This torso's almost gone. I want the pulse lasers, come on! The booger's moving around now. Huntsman, gotta cool off. Cool off by jumping back, good thinking. At least he stayed unstable. So we'll strip this guy's leg this turn. Or kill him, one or the other. <laughs> it's not gonna save you, guy. It's not gonna save you. Okay, Griffey's all yours. We're gonna move this way. Got more mineral fields over here, so um, yeah, Griff is not bad. Yeah, I was hoping that we had uh, Ace Pilot, but we don't. So let's just move over here, and I'm gonna take our time with this guy. Let's just go for the leg with an offensive push. Sixty percent chance to hit the leg. Got it. Now we got the torso too, but let's hope we got a lot of parts off that. Okay, we're just going to move up here and take our time. Let's brace and get our heat back. Prepare for an assault on these guys. Now, I don't know if we've got... It's our chance to hit this guy. 27. We're going to take it. We're going to fire. He's already damaged. Drop a few missiles on him. Get a little bit more damage on him. Okay, Urban Max sitting duck. Well, he was. Okay, how do we want to handle this? I don't think we've all got enough movement to take on the uh, Urban Mech. Yeah, we don't, can't even see him. Could go for a cougar cub attack here. Ten four. 
I think the cougar is probably more important to hit. Just because of the Gauss Rifle. So we're going to hammer him. Okay, he lost some shiz. Alright, Griff. We will be going on the Bear Cub, most likely. We could finish this guy off, but I want to use... Uh, actually, you know what? Let's do that. Let's just finish him up. Oh, two groin shots and he's dead. Took both of his testicles off. Let's see if he had them. If he did, doesn't have no more. Bear Cub's going to get a face full of missiles. Not any missiles, HE missiles. Here it comes, Bubba. Oh! Inflicted some heavy damage. You did. Welcome to the match. Mm, ah, man. I don't want to pull out. Let's just get in here. Target this guy. And firing. Roger. And then there were two. So, I don't know. We might want to... He's 50 tons as Huntsman. We'll pick up a greener part for sure. Try and maximize salvage off this Huntsman. We have a couple of Huntsman parts. I think it was three or something we had. or Was it three? Two or three, anyway. Turdby we don't really care about. He's turning his weapon arm to us, though. He's totally turning his weapon arm to us. Question is, do we take it now? I think so. Okay, so we don't have to worry about him now. God, Mockingbird. If you die, I'm gonna like just have to end this series because there's no way we can continue without her. We'll just die horribly. Alright, Huntsman. Let's go this route. And start on the leg. That looked like a lot of leg hits to me. Well, it was a fair number. Waiting for orders. Okay, same thing. Blockade's going to go after the leg. And we're going to fire. That should take the leg. Oh, yeah. Reporting critical hit. Now, Duce's got the wrong weapons to be shooting this guy with. Um, but he's got the absolute right weapons to be killing this uh, hunchback with. So we're just going to drill at home. Let the message, drill that message from that he's not welcome. Alright, see what he does here. He can still be dangerous, he's still got weapons. Gonna jump, eh? Oh, Trixie. He's in a flamer, huh? It's not very nice. Alright. Gonna bank on the fact that this might not last past this turn. So let's hit this guy's leg. Oh yeah, the three mediums look like they hit. Okay, this is the good time for you to fire. Um, gonna target this leg. I don't want to do go crazy on it, but let's just do this. Only because I don't want to be like smashing through the torso. Scored a critical hit, Commander. Gotta move a little bit. See if you can take that leg. There's two. 
Both legs. Nice. There it is, folks. All right. This should be enough to cover our repairs. Another 83,000. So that battle, I think, went really, really well. Uh, we had the firepower. We were outnumbered, but we had the, the ability to maneuver really well. So it worked out well. Killing that white early and then the Grinner when he was off by himself was a, uh, a really good move. There's the Grinner piece. So we should have another Grinner now. Huntsman Prime. Um, can't take any pieces for that whites. Uh, as much as I like to take some white pieces. It's not, I'm not going to do it. Um, medium Pulses. Ah, Ultra AC2. Was that on the actual... Was that on the Hunchback? The Ultra AC2, or was it on somebody else? AMS Clan. Somebody warned me against taking the AMSs right now. Um, Clan XL Engine. There's 100,000 right there. Let's take that, just so we know we're going to have our uh, financial report. And I think... It, uh, we want to take the accuracy. I think we do. NSS, Watchdog Suite. We have one of these, though. We have an NSS, don't we? No, we don't. Uh, that's a possibility. Streak ammo. Um... Yeah, if we were going to take the AC, we'd have to take the ammo with it. So we're not going to do that. Uh, Guardian ECM, I don't know. These things actually drop relatively frequently. But if we're going to put the Grinner together, this is probably a good choice to take. Don't have any right now. Um, I'm thinking we're going to go that route. We do want to build stealth mech, so that's the thing, right? So let's let's take the NSS instead. Um, I kind of want to go all stealth. It's going to make the mech a lot harder, though. You know what? Let's just get the mechs running first, and we'll worry about that afterwards. So let's take that... Um, the energy fire control system so we can get these guys going here. Let's confirm this. Wow, we barely got any parts. One Huntsman part, one Bear Cub part, a fire starter part. Wow. Light tag, medium pulse, LRM-10, okay. Heat sink, we got the Watchdog Suite, so that's good. Ah, well. Alright. So there it is, there's the Wolfhound. Right lower. Let's see what we got on this guy. 52,000 in repairs. Well, it's not bad. We made 30 grand on that. All right. Uh, let's have a quick look here. Um, and let's see. Oops, not there. Got a lot of upgrades we can take now, though. Oh, training module two. We want to take that. Uh, we'll do that in a second. Uh, let's bring the grinner over here. Uh, I hate how this keep cha keeps changing shit around. It's annoying. Like you lay them out, it's like, hey, you can change your mechs around, but then it just kind of <laughs> goes back to how it was. All right, looks like we lost a lot of stuff on this guy. Guardian ECM seems to still be on. Uh, let's repair it. 110,000, not bad at all. Medium pulse laser we were able to save. Two medium pulses and an ER medium. Uh, some double heat sinks. The engine core was still there. Nice. We'd have to add the arms on, but that's okay. So let's do this. Let's max out the armor right now. Uh, we will be adding a bunch of stuff in here later. Actually, we're probably going to be using that XL engine in this guy, most likely. Um, but let's max out the armor for now. Uh, got the feral. Let's actually, you know what? Let's. We got an composite though, right? Um, probably going to need that. How much is the Clan XL going to cost us to put in? 549000 It's only going to give us a few tons of weight. Uh, do I want to start outfitting this guy now? See, we got a few Clan XLs, so I'm not really worried about that. Um, surveillance, cockpit, sensor range, and everything. Three tons, three slots, minus two initiative, though. We don't want that. 
Uh, we could drop a mask in this guy. Turn him into a quick strike mech. Let's, um, first... Do we have any arms and stuff, or am I just, like, out of luck? We're gonna have to take some missions to get some <laughs> freaking arms. We have no arms or anything, and there's, like, nothing in the store, I bet. Yeah. I mean, really? Can we put some, like, arm parts and hand parts in the store, please, guys? Anybody? Is anybody listening to me? Probably not. Enhanced imaging, plus one, minus, sorry, plus one accuracy, minus one recoil, plus four initiative. That's a huge bonus, the initiative. But that takes up, uh, not enough free slots. How many slots is that? Two, oh, it takes two. But what does it use up? Is it a... Oh, it's the, uh, okay. So we can go this route. That works. Um, leave the ECM in for now. We needed, definitely need two heat sinks. Um, somehow we didn't get full armor. I guess because we ran out. Why would it not put it on the arms and stuff, though? Um... Let's leave it like that for now. So we've got pulse lasers. Let's put them on the arms. No available points in the left arm. You are correct. Because I am blind. Uh, let's do that. It says this guy's like all laser points. What's our heat sinking right now? Pretty damn good. It's not because we don't have a uh, double heat sink kit in here. Do we have a double heat sink kit? We do. We got one. Now it should be good. You bet. All right. So, XL Gyro can squeeze that in there. It's going to help a little bit. Uh, I think patchwork materials, maybe. I don't know. Maybe not. Um, yeah, it's half a ton. Let's have a look here. Um, can only put laser weapons in this guy. Let's get our mask in though. Let's do that first. I think I want this guy to have a mask. Uh, let's put it on this side. With the double heatsink over here. Uh, we've got a Guardian ECM. Is that going to be good enough? Plus one evasion. Maybe the Watchdog Suite? This is the uh, sensor range. Reduce signature. ECM bubble. That's probably the route we want to go. Um, so let's do that. We could increase the engine core. This is only slightly though, so it's not going to add much. Um, let's see here. Don't have any sensors for this guy, unfortunately. We've got a UAV we could use, but no big deal. Uh, so lasers. Like, I'm totally outfitting this guy right now. I shouldn't be, but I am. Uh, no, no, we got four clan medium pulses. So we have five on our other Grinner. Um... The heat sinking out right now. Really bad. Um, because our other greener does not have a mask. That's why. Or does it? I can't remember. Well, if we don't go with this many medium pulses, we can go with four. Uh, and how are we doing now? Still really hot. Because the mask is adding heat. 20% weapons, heat from weapons fire. So we could just add a couple of double heat sinks. Call it a day. Still going to be an issue. Well, not that bad. I'd like to see how that works. I'd like to see how this guy works. So let's put in our patchwork materials. 
Just so we don't have to take any armor off this guy. And we're short on armor, but that's fine. We can leave it at this for now. 625,000 18 days. Yeah, man. Okay. Yeah, shit's disappeared. For some reason, I have no idea why. There it is. Um, I'm not even going to bother moving these guys around again. All right, so we're going to leave the episode there, guys. I hope you liked it. When we come back next time, let's try and take on a couple of these uh, um, higher skull missions. We've got a couple of two and a half, three skull missions here, too. So let's take those on see how we do I think we'll probably do really well we got our second lance up and running pretty much uh, we can have him the second lance probably take on the other two skull mission against clan wolf see how that goes and in the meantime our main lance will take on the higher skull missions and hopefully maybe pick up some more uh, medium mech parts or something we did get a huntsman part today which is kind of good we need more obviously but uh, we'll get there slowly all right so until next time uh, if you like the episode, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe and drop any comments in the comment section down below. And until next time, we'll see you later.